Good morning. Our gathering song is number 561, Taste and See, number 561. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my hearts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and uh, ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, God delivered all the commandments. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. You shall not have other gods besides me. You shall not carve idols for yourselves in the shape of anything in the sky above or on the earth below or in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow down before them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, inflicting punishment for their father's wickedness on the children of those who hate me, down to the third and fourth generation, but bestowing mercy down 
to the thousandth generation on the children of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not leave unpunished him who takes his name in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Six days you may labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. No work may be done then either by you or by your son or daughter or your male or female slave or your beast or by the alien who lives with you. In six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but on the seventh day he rested. That is why the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother that you may have a long life in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall covet, not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male or female slave, nor his ox or ass, nor anything else that belongs to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Lord, you have given, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Lord, you have, have the words of everlasting life. life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Lord, Lord you, you have, have the words of everlasting, everlasting life. life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the, of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was steals away what was sown in his heart the seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy but he has no root and last only for a time when some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorn is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of the riches chalk the word and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on the rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields 
a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Judaism is the first monotheistic religion. It means believing in one God. We'll listen to the first reading of today. Through Moses, God gives ten commandments to his people. And the first commandment is about the creator of the universe or they are invited to believe in one God unlike the Gentiles, those who had many God and goddesses. Even now, these Ten Commandments serve as foundation to our Christian life. Of course, Jesus came and fulfilled these commandments, but the basic foundation of Christian life is based on the Ten Commandments. When the Pharisee came up and asked Jesus, which is the greatest of all commandments, he said, love God, love your neighbor. Of course, when Jesus came, he gave a different interpretation, what is to, or who is your neighbor, or what is it to love your neighbor. And we listen to the gospel passage of today. Jesus is inviting his followers not only just listen to the word, understand it, take it to heart, and live out the word. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, the liturgy of today invites us to listen to the word, to understand the word, take it hard the word, and above all, to live out the word. Rise. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking His blessings for Francis. Lord, hear our prayers. Christians all over the world may live a life according to the Ten Commandments. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders of the world may strive tirelessly to bring about justice and peace to all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the sick and suffering, especially members of our parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Belva Pindak, for whom 
this mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our praise and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us about the importance and the need to live out the Ten Commandments. Grant us the grace that we, we may uphold these commandments and live a life adhering to them. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our God and good of all this holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the Lord, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to you. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without the end we acclaim. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving things, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the challenge of salvation, giving things that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you through all the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the same his command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our lead is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, beholding Him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Graciously, graciously be presented to your people. We pray, O oh Lord, a lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank God. Our sending hymn, number 511, Alleluia, the strife is o'er. Number 511.